Aerial drone footage shows damage from Hurricane Milton over the Minnesota Key consisting mainly of the community of Englewood Beach in Charlotte County, Florida. Milton killed at least 10 people when it tore across central Florida, flooding barrier islands, ripping the roof off the Tampa Bay Rays baseball stadium, and spawning deadly tornadoes. Florida residents began repairing damage from Hurricane Milton, which smashed through coastal communities tore homes to pieces, and flooded streets. Floridians who fled hundreds of miles to escape Hurricane Milton made slow trips home on crowded highways, weary from their long journeys and the cleanup work awaiting them but grateful to be coming back alive. Minnesota Key is an 11-mile long barrier island located south of Sarasota and Venice. Florida residents returned to the familiar ritual of assessing hurricane damage Thursday, the day after Milton smashed through many coastal communities and spawned a barrage of tornadoes that killed at least five people less than two weeks after the misery wrought by Helene. The storm knocked out power to more than three million customers, flooded barrier islands, tore the roof off a baseball stadium and toppled a construction crane. But many people also expressed relief that Milton wasn't worse. The system spared Tampa a direct hit, and the lethal storm surge that scientists feared never materialized. The system tracked to the south in the final hours and made landfall late Wednesday as a Category 3 storm in Siesta Key, about 70 miles south of Tampa. Damage was widespread, and water levels may continue to rise for days, but Governor Ron DeSantis said it was not the worst-case scenario. The worst storm surge appeared to be in Sarasota County, where it was 8 to 10 feet lower than in the worst place during Helene. The storm also dumped up to 18 inches of rain in some areas, the governor said. Just inland from Tampa, the flooding in Plant City was absolutely staggering, according to city manager Bill McDaniel. Emergency crews rescued 35 people overnight, said McDaniel who estimated the city received 13.5 inches of rain.
Ана мы узинен сиренди говорим.